So this is going to be how to use um, one of the neat features of Axodice 2 called Town Builder um, because server owners are going to want to know how to use this and it's not necessarily the most obvious uh, function in the world. Okay, so you want to go out past, you know, towers that already exist. Uh, the map comes preloaded with several schematics as long as you actually download the server files and don't just load up the map. Just loading up the map, you won't have any schematics, you need the server files. Um, now you're going to need a couple blocks. You're going to need this, the schematic tool. You're going to need the structure builder. You're going to need a house key that's unbound. Uh, easiest way, angel block, um, an anvil, the recall stone. You'll see how we use all these. So, obviously you can't just place this in midair, and this is a sky block, so angel block helps with that. We put our structure builder here. While pointing at the structure builder, you are going to type in town builder block set tower. In this case, I've got it set to orange, but there are about 16 or 17 different schematics. You can look in the uh, folder. It's under the mods folder um, in the server files under a folder called town builder. You just use the name um, of the schematic here. Let's uh, pull this up so you can more easily see this. We'll set this. We'll go ahead and set this to orange. No real reason, just because that's what I happen to have up. Now, while we're pointing at this, if we want to see where uh, things are, we just do this, toggle view, and we'll move out. And you'll see, I, I have not really figured out how exactly you place this block so you always know which direction it's going to be. But so this is going to be the front part of the block. Um, that's important to note because you're going to need to move this slightly. Um, otherwise your players are going to spawn in midair. That would be bad. So you hold shift to sneak. One, two, three on the bottom. One, two, three on the top. This front. Now we're going to need to move over just a little bit so we can reach the uh, other side. You're going to need one. Okay, we're not close enough. And this is the fun part. You'll get the hang of it. One, two, three, four on this side. Now, remove the angel blocks. Useful, but not necessary. Uh, just put your anvil here for right now. And stand on the anvil. Now we need our key. We have our unbound key. We're going to click that on here. Now it says it's bound to a location. At this point, I put it in the uh, anvil and rename it to something I'll remember. Orange, in this case two, because I already have an orange tower on this map. Then we can break that and break that. And we'll come up here. Now, land on that. You want to put a block on the front side. You want to put Jericho Stone to locate this orange too. I like to name it the same as the key. Now, since we probably don't really want to keep staring at that, we can toggle the view again and voila. Now we have a block. Now to show you how this works, so we go back to the base. Ah. In this case, my thing is empty, so I'm going to get another one. Base. Location. Now, orange two. Hey, voila! Now you would give a player the the recall stone that goes with this house and the key, and voila! Now, your player has well, in this case, an orange tower. The color of the tower just refers to what color the fake bricks inside the tower are. These are not as quite as nice as the windmills that you will see at the start. That is because uh, Town Builder doesn't really like moving multi-parts. So I took this out. So then it says, uh, purchased by Jaded Cat, blah, 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 blah. And you can get started. Um, there's no chests on these. There's no um, saplings, uh, dirt, etc. That's because when a player first logs into the world, there's a script that runs that will give them the items that they need based on what you have set the difficulty of your server to. 
Uh, easy will give them three stacks of bone meal, normal gives them two, hard gives them one. So whatever you have your server set to difficulty-wise, that is going to determine um, how much bone meal, dirt, saplings, etc. they just have plopped in their inventory. So what you'll need is some handy way of giving your player um, the recall stone and the key that's attached to that recall stone. It doesn't provide any protection, but when you first log in to the server world files, you will have a chest here that says unlocked towers. These are towers that are already spawned on the map and don't need a key. There's eight of them. Now, if you wanted to have more players though, there is another seven key and, um, recall stone combos here that you can hand out it will pop up as soon as they give them they put the key in the thing they'll get their tower and then you can add more so by default you have enough for the eight plus seven 15 um players you want more players set up some more uh towers uh, i would not suggest putting them in other dimensions since saplings and various other things don't grow without light so they may not work very well in other dimensions but if you wanted to you could so that's how to use that and um have fun